This is an example of such a manipulation we did on tomato sounds that we recorded. And these are sounds that were recorded from grapevines and manipulated in, in the same manner. And joining us now is Professor Lila Khadani from the School of Plant Sciences, Sciences and Food Security at Tel Aviv University. Uh, joining us from Tel Aviv. And Professor Khadani, this is truly fascinating. First of all, just tell us the genesis of this project. I mean, is this something scientists suspected that plants can somehow make sounds and even communicate? Mm, so there are two levels. We know that plants communicate. Plants communicate in different ways. They communicate through volatiles, through shading of each other, through chemicals. But the topic of um, plant bioacoustics, plants emitting sounds or plants responding to sounds, uh, was um, completely unknown till uh, quite recently. And we arrived to it from the evolutionary perspective. Uh, because uh, acoustic communication could be really useful for plants. First, they are, as there are plenty of animals around, animals that make sounds and respond to sounds. So if plants would have uh, used acoustic communication, it seems there would be someone uh, to interact with. And so a few years ago, we've shown that the flowers respond to the sound of pollinators. But in this work, right. we've shown that plants emit sounds. Right. Ultrasonic uh, sounds, especially when stressed. And that the sounds contain information. Well, how, well let me, that's the, that, you're jumping to my next question. We heard those clickings. What is, is that, do we know what they're saying? Is that like a kind of Morse code type thing? So we can identify uh, the condition of the plant, is the plant cut or dry? Is it a little dry or very dry? What And what type of plant we have? Like, is it tomato or tobacco? According to the sounds. But that doesn't yet say that the sounds are used for communication. This is still an open question. Now we know that they emit sounds, that we can record the sounds from a distance. They're out there in the air. But we don't know yet who is listening, animals and possibly other plants. Could it be, could, could, is it possible, and I'm just speculating, because there's always been a lot of theorizing why, for example, certain insects go to certain plants. You mentioned plants communicate visually to bees and insects. Could sounds be a part of it, even an interspecies communication? I would definitely think so. So... We know that there are certain animals that can hear these sounds. Uh, the sounds are way out of our frequency. They are between 70 and 80 kilohertz. But there are animals, uh, moss, bats, mice, that can hear them. Do these animals use the sounds to uh, decide what to do? For example, which plant uh, to lay eggs on? Right. Let me ask you, there's been a lot of discussion about uh, the questions about do plants feel pain as we understand it, or distress, as you say, and that even goes into the whole subject of uh, people eating plants under what, what condition. D does that change our thinking to know that plants maybe can actually communicate, uh, I would say verb, I mean, through sounds, let's say? I think that our work does not uh, change. Uh, we know that plants communicate. That, uh, this work... But at, just, a, at, a, at a higher level, their assumption is if they're doing it through some kind of auditory, that that's almost like a higher level of intelligence than maybe we thought of plants having. At the moment, it might even be that the sounds are um, not used by the plant for communication. It might be a side effect of other processes of stress in the plant. But even if this is the case, the sounds are out there and contain information. So other organisms may be using them. 
Right. Uh, is that the next step in the, in the research, to find out exactly what those sounds are, like uh, in what kind of communication they are? Exactly. So within a few years, we hope to have uh, an answer for that. All right. Well, who knows? Maybe one day we'll be <laughs> maybe we'll be able to communicate back uh, to to our plants uh, and really change the way that uh, we think about it. Uh, it's really fascinating, Professor Lilach Hadani of Tel Aviv University. Thank you for joining us on I twenty four News. Mm -hmm.